Hello everyone. I'm uh, just going to review with you real quick. Uh, putting on the uh, steel rails and the spacers and so forth. Uh, there's a small box that you get called Gantry Assembly. Inside the box you get the ZY plate. You get uh, the rack clamps for the top of the Y axis. You get the Y axis spacers for between the steel rails. You get the uh, end stop bumper assemblies. Uh, you also get two of the extended carriages along with the, the bolts and the bearings and so forth for them. The other thing you get is a bag of bolts. Um, you get these three eight bolts here. They're used then to attach the uh, extended carriages to the ZY plate. You also get uh, a bunch of carriage bolts. You get long ones and short ones. The shorter ones are used for the steel rails. The longer ones are used for the spacers and then for the gear rack clamps. Now, one thing that I did do is I measured off and I marked positions. In this particular case, the rails are 60 inches, the extrusion is 60 and a half, so I put a marked quarter inch in just to give me kind of an alignment mark to put stuff. The other thing I did was I marked off positions for the uh, center clamps, spacing clamps. The center one of course is uh, right on the center of the extrusion. Then I marked this particular one, I believe the center at approximately three and three quarters and then this one I believe was at fifteen and a half. Now the spacers are an inch and a half wide so I marked off another line three quarters of an inch over to the side to give myself a visual alignment to uh, put the various ones on. Now you'll have to do this all keep everything loose all your bolts and nuts that way uh, once you get your rails on you can then uh, move up and down to put your spacer clamps in and what you need to know about the rat clamps and the spacer clamps is is the tangs that are machined on here are slightly oversized um, and what that's going to do is when you tighten these down this is going to give you a press fit in here. So you, you basically want to have everything loosely assembled here before you tighten anything down. Um, these are also designed so that this surface, uh, the back surface here on this, actually clamps down onto the steel rails. So again that's where you want to have everything basically just put on loose uh, and in position before you start tightening anything down. So you'll tighten these down first uh, to get the, everything clamped down. Best to use some clamps to hold the steel rails down so that they're uh, sitting into the slots on the back side to give you a good solid position so that these are then spaced equally apart. So that's where we're at now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get everything finalized and put together here and then uh, work on getting the uh, z-axis plate uh, assembly put on so uh, that's it for now and uh, once I get to the z-axis plate I'll do another video thanks thanks for watching